here we are in part 5 where we'll be covering how to use multiple lights and point lights in our shaders. Once again, don't worry if you find the presentation a little fast or a little too hard to follow. It's just to get an idea of how things work. After the theory, we'll go ahead and write a shader line by line explaining how it works in greater depth. You can then go, go ahead and come back and watch the theory again for greater understanding or you can download the presentation, the shader and the text version of this tutorial in the source files. Let's begin. Multiple lights. Working with a single light is great and all, but in Unity we really want to work with several lights. This is done using multiple passes and blending them together additively using a cool bit of Shader Lab. This involves duplicating the entire pass without textures and ambient light. We'll be getting to textures a little bit later on, but basically we don't want to blend our textures and the ambient light over for every single light. It's a very straightforward process, but it really does double your code. Alright, let's take a look at the code. There's a few lines of new code to learn. Alright, so it takes light mode for base and light mode for add. Now we've actually already learned this earlier on. I, I intended to teach you guys light mode in this series, but um, unfortunately with the upgrade of Unity, I had to teach you a little bit earlier. So for this one here, uh, let's take a breakdown. Alright, so light mode forward base. We need to add this to the first pass in Unity to tell it that this is the primary light pass. Unity will use this pass for all important lights or the closest lights. And in the edition of um, the latest versions of Unity, apparently the point lights are only calculated in forward add. So that is interesting and something I'll be looking into in the future. Alright, so forward add, this one here, this is used for any passes that will be additively blended over. So all your secondary lights and your point lights, your spotlights, which we won't be getting into in this series, but they'll be going into the forward add pass. That's how you all blend them in. Now blend 1-1. One, one. This one here is a really, really cool line. This controls how it is blended. And this is using Shadow Lab. So this corresponds to blend, source, and destination. So we have our, it is blend, the source of destination. One means we're going to blend this straight over the top. We're just going to add it together. There is a whole bunch of other ones that we can use. The other options are zero, which means don't include. The source color, just blend, uh, blend based on the source color. Blend based on the source alpha. Just color, just alpha, same thing. One minus source color, one minus source alpha, one minus disk color, and one minus disk alpha. All right, so these are all the ones that you can use. It's, uh, it's basically the word is what it does. Okay, let's move on. We're going to have a practical exercise. So now that we've covered the theory, albeit a little bit fast, it's time to put it into practice. I'm now going to take the rim lighting shader and add a second light pass to it. I will be re-explaining a lot of this theory as I write the shader, so don't worry if you didn't understand any of this at all. Uh, I will be going ahead and doing this work. 